Resources Types and Development What is a resource? Everything that satisfies our needs and is present in nature is termed as resource. Human beings use several things obtained from nature for their survival. For example, food, minerals, transport, etc. All these are resources. But a substance becomes a resource only when it has utility and value in human life. Water, electricity, rickshaw, vegetable and textbook have all been used by us, so they have utility. Utility or usability makes an object or substance a resource. Utility of a resource gives it its value. All resources have some value. Value means worth. Some resources have economic value and some do not. For example, minerals have an economic value while a beautiful landscape may not, but both are important and satisfy human needs. Time and Technology Time and technology are two important factors which can convert a substance or a thing into a resource. Both are related to the needs of people. Human beings themselves are the most important resource as only human resource is capable to convert a thing into a useful thing by using their intelligence, talent and technology. In early times, people lived in caves and depended mainly on nature. As time passed, people learned different techniques to make their lives easy. It is their ideas, knowledge, inventions and discoveries that led to the creation of more resources. Each discovery or invention leads to many others. For example, fire led to the practice of cooking and other such processes while the invention of the wheel ultimately resulted in the development of new and modern means of transport like buses, trucks, trains, aeroplanes, etc. So, we can say that without the need of time and technology, no substance may be converted into a useful thing or a resource. Types of Resources Resources are of various types. Generally, they are classified as natural or human. Resources Natural resources, human resources Level of development Actual, potential Origin, biotic, abiotic Exhaustibility, renewable, non-renewable Distribution, ubiquitous, localized Human-made building, pounds, machinery Quantity and quality like health, education Natural resources Resources that are obtained from nature and used without much modification are termed as natural resources. Air, water, minerals, soil, land, etc. are examples of natural resources. Among these, some are free gifts of nature like air, water, forests, etc. But for using up of some resources, we require technology in the form of knowledge, skills and tools. For example, to get food from land, we have to plough the field, put the seed, provide water and after ripening, harvesting of crop takes place. Then only, we can get food. So, resources are also called as a function of human activities. Classification of natural resources on the basis of level of development. On the basis of their development and use, resources can be classified into actual resources and potential resources. Actual resources. When the quality of a resource is known, it is called an actual resource. These resources depend upon the economic viability and the availability of technology. These resources are being used in the present. Alluvial soil of Northern Plain, petroleum in West Asia and mineral wealth in Africa are all actual resources. Potential resources. Their entire quantity may not be known and these are not being used at present. These resources could be used in future. There is no appropriate technology to use these potential resources. Let's take example of uranium reserves in Ladakh and the presence of abundant solar energy in Rajasthan. Use of these resources require advanced level of technology and huge investment of money so that they could be used in future. After improvement of technology, high-speed winds were a potential resource for 100 years. But today, they are actual resources 
due to development of wind farms, which generate electricity by using wind speed, like in the Netherlands, and to some extent in Nagar Coil in Tamil Nadu. Based on origin, resources may be categorized as biotic and abiotic resources on the basis of origin. Biotic resources. Biotic resources are those resources which contain life. All the living things are biotic resources, for example, plants, animals, human beings. Abiotic resources. Abiotic resources are non living things as they do not contain life. Water energy, solar energy, rocks, minerals, etc., are the examples of abiotic resources. Based on exhaustibility, on the basis of exhaustibility, resources are of two types renewable and non renewable. These are also the two broad categories of resources. Renewable resources. Renewable resources are those resources which can renew themselves again and again. Some of these resources are found abundantly, like tidal, solar, and wind energy. But some renewable resources may finish or their existence may come in danger if we use them excessively and unthinkingly. For example, water, forests, and soil. Careless use of these resources can affect their stock. Water is a renewable resource. But most parts of the world is facing the problem of water scarcity due to shortage and drying up of natural water resources. Non-renewable resources. These resources are present in a limited quantity. Once they get finished, they can't be reproduced again. These resources are formed after a long process and it takes thousands of years to be renewed or replenished. There is no technology available to reproduce them again. So, these resources are considered as non-renewable resources. All the minerals like coal, petroleum, natural gas, iron, etc. are non-renewable resources. But most of the metallic minerals are recyclable. That is, we can use them again after recycling them, but they can't be reproduced. Iron, gold, silver, etc. are recyclable. On the basis of distribution, resources are distributed unevenly. On the basis of distribution, resources can be ubiquitous and localized. Ubiquitous. Those resources that are found everywhere are termed as ubiquitous resources. For example, the air we breathe, sun energy, etc. Localized. Those resources which are found in certain places only are called localized resources like copper, tin, iron, etc. The distribution of natural resources mainly depends upon terrain, climate and altitude. Availability of mineral resources mainly depends upon the geological structure of a particular area. Resources are distributed unevenly because of these factors which differ so much from one place to another over the earth. Human-made resources Human-made resources are those resources which are developed by human beings by using natural resources. Human beings use technology to convert these available natural resources into useful things. Coal and petroleum were not resources until people learned to extract them to use them. People use natural resources to make buildings, roads, bridges, machinery, vehicles, which are known as human-made resources. Technology is also a human-made resource because it is developed by human beings to make life easy. Human resources. Human beings are the most important resource because only intelligent and skillful people have the ability to make best use of available natural resources. But it is only possible when people have knowledge, skill and technology to do so. People are human resources. Education and health are the two main factors through which an ordinary man changes something into a resource. These two factors improve the quality of people's skill so that they are able to create more resources. For example, Japan is devoid of economic resources, but it is a leading country in terms of modern technology due to its human resource. Importance of Resources Resources are very important for the socio-economic development of a country. Without resources, no country can develop. Availability of resources is the backbone of economy of any country. 
only those areas of the world are developed where we find such resources. Some areas are lagging behind in terms of economic development due to lack of necessary resources. So, both the natural as well as human resources are important to develop a country. Conservation of resources. We all know that resources are very important, but reckless use of resources leads to an end of these resources. That's why the conservation of resources is needed. When we use resources carefully and give them time to renew themselves, it is called resource conservation. Conservation is possible when we balance the need to use resources and also conserve them for the future. For the conservation of resources, sustainable development is required. Sustainable development means development should take place without harming the environment and resources should be kept for future generation also. We can conserve resources in many ways. For example, reducing consumption, recycling and reusing things. There should be no wastage of drinking water. Waste paper should be recycled as it requires cutting off forests to manufacture new paper. Waste metals should be recycled to make useful things. Extra bulb, fans, etc. should be switched off when they are not required. The future of our planet and its people is linked with our ability to maintain and preserve the life support system that nature provides. Therefore, the points which we should keep in our mind and contribute to save our Mother Earth are There should be sustainable use of resources. The diversity of life on the Earth should be conserved to minimize the damage to natural environment system to motivate people by creating awareness regarding the judicious use of resources.